Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we finally came face to face with Princess Shroob and her army of Shroobians, all in a desperate attempt to save Princess Peach from her clutches. The only thing is, our rescue mission was kind of a complete and utter failure, losing Princess Peach and Kylie Koopa to the gaping maw of a very hungry Petey Piranha, who's escaped into the deep depths of the gritzy caves of the Koopaseum, and with no time left to lose, our time is slowly but surely starting to run out. For not only the Royal Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, but as well as our journalistic Koopa friend, who's helped us even have this chance of, res of a rescue mission in the first place, even if we ended up kind of failing it in the end. So, let's be honest here, we definitely need to save both of them. And maybe we still have a chance at saving both of them, since, let's be honest there, well, it hasn't been that long since, you know, they got eaten, so maybe we have a, still have a chance of maybe saving both of them. You never honestly know. But, uh, well, definitely do need to, you know, make sure we're ready, because, let's be honest here, PD Piranha is definitely going to be a boss fight, and there's no way around that one. Also, this door looks pretty foreboding, so um, I think we're probably actually going straight to PD Piranha, actually. Oh, okay. I was thinking that whole thing was going to open, but a small little door opened instead. But, uh, yeah, definitely with the fact that, uh, oh, what did we just do? Maybe the, oh no, okay, maybe that was a good idea. Um, hey, PD. Long time no see, buddy. Um... I don't know why that coin block was what ended up uh, getting you to attack us, but... Oh. Okay, then. Apparently, you really don't like that. Also, you kind of opened up a secret pathway in the back there, it looks like. But, uh... <laughs> looks like uh, we're going to play a little bit of hide-and-seek with a PD Piranha here. Although, probably not the smartest idea. Also, one thing I'm noticing is... Uh, Definitely the fact that uh, he seems to be a small bit different than the one I'm used to. Because um, usually PD Piranha is just one specific type of piranha plant. But the thing is, it always seems like there's multiple of them in between like all the different versions of PD, to be fair. <laughs> also, it's just cool in general just to be able to fight off with PD Piranha. Because he's, you know, a pretty specific, like, enemy in the Mario universe. Okay, well, he's starting to fly. Okay, then. Well, that doesn't look good for us. Okay, starting something up. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Nice try and, uh, nice little ground pound there. Also, he's no longer on the floor now, so we need to keep that in mind, too. So he's able to completely change from being a floor enemy to a, you know, a ground-based enemy in the blink of an eye. We have a bunch of trampolines, though, since we got a bunch of them just from the fact of all those blocks throughout this area. So we might as well take definitely, you know, definitely maybe using that. I'm wondering if PD's gonna be weak to ice flowers or fire flowers, though. That's a good question. But, um, I'm gonna say it's definitely safe to go for maybe a trampoline here and see if we can get some good damage in, because these trampolines are pretty good. And we know we can do a lot- we messed up the f early, early. That's a little bad, but eh, it could have been worse. 72 damage is never a bad thing. I'm gonna say what we'll do with Luigi's turn, though, is I'm gonna actually set up the- Oh, it goes for both of us. Oh, I thought it was only for one. Okay. These peppers are really good, then. Okay, let's raise our power for both Mario and Luigi, then. And technically, I think it goes for the baby bros, too. So, definitely not a bad thing. Also, his one attack that he's using so far does not seem to be too dangerous. So I think we're definitely good to keep going for what we're doing. But 19 damage from one stomp there is definitely not bad. We should be getting some big damage in here, as long as we get like a good roll of everything here. And keep attention to who's falling and make sure we press the button, obviously. But so far, so good. We're doing pretty good, honestly. Oh, messed up. Okay, so... Messed up on Mario 2, but not bad. 224 damage is always good to see. <laughs> Definitely pretty good. But, uh... 
That's already a good chunk of his HP out of the way, though, which will always be a good thing. Let's definitely keep the damage up, though, and not... Ooh, got a lucky there. Double lucky, okay. I like to see that. Also, did not expect to see that either. But, um, ooh, another one. Okay, messed up on two of them again. But, not bad. Got a couple luckies out of that. Still got to 200 damage pretty early. Okay, he's doing something different now. Okay, that's going for Louis. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, what the? Okay, Mario. Uh, okay, I wasn't ready for a quicksand attack. But, um, okay, lost a little bit of HP from that. Definitely can't jump on him because I'm pretty sure that'll actually hurt us. So, definitely looks like we need to go hammer now. So we might need to change up our tactic, and I could have went for a better there, but it looks like the main idea of this is just keep jumping so we don't go in the quicksand and take any damage. Okay, this one's going to go for Mario. Oh, it's going to go in between. Okay. Good to know about that now, before, you know, it happens later. Oh my goodness, 102 damage. Jeez, okay. Luigi, you really need to stop being dizzy, buddy. Well, he's going to get knocked out, and we're not even going to get a chance to even use Luigi here. Poor Luigi, he didn't even get a, a fighting chance to actually get back. He got smacked by one piranha plant, and he was out of the fight for, like, pretty much the rest of it. But at 102, wow. Okay. I was not expecting that at all. But, uh, yeah, definitely revive Luigi. He didn't even get a chance. <laughs> wow. That, that's really unfortunate for him, though. But, um, honestly, I'm gonna say Pocket Chomps might be... No, we can't jump on them, can we? I don't think we can, so I don't think it's a good idea. Um, that's a good question. Do we just go Green Shells here, or do we just go Hammers? Because Hammers seem like a good idea, in all honesty. From that 102 we did? Yeah, 51 damage isn't bad. And we don't have to use Bro's item to get there. So, worth a, worth a shot. But let's see here, this is pretty simple. For the most- oh, okay. Never mind, it changed up on me. Okay, then. So keep in mind on how he jumps, then. Okay, he's gonna go for- okay, so it goes opposite of the first one. I don't know how you prepare for that one. That one definitely does not look like an easy one to prepare for. I'm gonna heal with Luigi, I think, though. So we'll go for a trampoline first, just for some damage. Because Mario technically does more damage than Luigi does, but technically everyone's attacking at the same time. To be fair, but it's uh, probably safer to make sure we go for the trampoline now while we have our full attention on attacking and then prepare for Luigi to heal when his chance comes up. Well, I messed up with uh, baby Mario there, but not bad. 187 damage. Okay, let's definitely go for a heal though. Probably a big heal is what I'm going to go for. I think we'll go for... Can we go for an Ultra Drop here? I kind of think we can. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go and set a good full heal for everybody. And then prepare for PD now. So what do you got for us now, buddy? Looks like he's going for the other one. Okay, the easy one to dodge. Okay, I like to see that one. Because that one's a lot easier to dodge than your nosedive into the, like, jumping into Mario and Luigi. But, uh... Definitely not an easy one to prepare for. It's definitely wait for it to happen, for sure. But, um, honestly, here... It looks like in order to get any kind of bonus from damage, it looks like we need to use Mario to use the Pepper there. But not bad. Let's definitely start in the damage with the trampoline again. Because this is definitely a top priority for damage right now. Just because this is our strongest damaging move at the current moment. And on top of the Pepper, for sure. But, uh, it's definitely good that we keep this damage going. Just because, let's be honest here, more damage we do to Petey, the easier we're going to deal with him later. Ooh, messed up that one. Messed up Baby Luigi too. But, not bad. Another 188 damage. Not bad to see. Although, he hasn't went into Fury yet, so I don't think he's getting... Okay, well, I got Luigi that time. So, okay. Well, so it should be Luigi first this time that needs to jump. Oh no, never mind. It's the other one. Okay. <laughs> never mind. But uh, his double attacks definitely can catch you off guard, though. If you take two hits in a row, I will say that for sure. But thankfully, that hasn't been a big problem. Lucky. I like to see that. But uh, yeah, I could definitely 
be bad if we get hit by multiple of those for sure. But thankfully we haven't had to deal with that yet. Although, it might happen very soon if we don't... Oh, I messed up... Uh, okay, now I'm messing up all of them. <laughs> After you mess up one, you kind of like lose track of who's going next. But it's uh, definitely still good for damage, though. Definitely like that damage, though. But definitely keep it going. See how much uh, we can get out of our... Ooh, lucky. I like to see those luckies. Because luckies mean we're getting... Ri oh, he's down. He's definitely down because it can canceled the rest of my attack there. But down goes PD Piranha. And another boss cleared. And I'm pretty sure this is the main boss of the Gritzy Desert, I'm pretty sure. Just because it's a very fitting boss for just in general because PD Piranha is a very, very specific character in Mario lore slash, you know, in general. So I think it's a pretty fitting character to end off this chapter. But, oh, he has Star Shard. And that definitely completes that. Although, where's Princess Peach? You got the third Cobalt Star Shard. Well, Kylie Koopa was in there. Oh, ow, ow. I bought my noggin, but good. Hope my camera's not broken. Uh, any idea where Princess Peach is? I oh, hate my whisker boys. Um, oh, did you kill the kill that overgrown veggie? Good deal. When that clown swallowed me down, I thought it was the big sleep for sure. So give fellas, did the big lug have the shard? It did. Um, why is it the bee's knees? Gaze at those sparkles, long enough and you feel. Um, yoinks. Um, inside the crystal, someone was looking back at me, fellas. Oh, what? Well, the only other person that, that could... Well, that would make more sense. Okay, then. Well, I got a very good idea. Um, well, she says she sees a person in there. Uh, we didn't see Princess Peach come out with Petey. So, uh, I think we know who might be in there. Well, that's not good. How do we get her out? Because uh, Princess Peach is, uh, should have been with Kylie. But she's not. And the only other way it would mean that either Princess Peach was eaten completely... Or she's inside that shard. So, or she somehow escaped. But based on what Kylie just said, that definitely sounds like uh, she's inside that crystal. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> I must be off my trolley. I need a quick snoozer. Um, well, maybe. Um, anyway, what gives, Whiskers? What are you going to do when you get all those baubles together? You're quite the motley crew, but you make for gold copy. Um, no doubt about that. Good as you boys are, though. This dame's got, the, got a lead that will top anything you've ever done. Oh, what is that? That's <laughs> scared Mario and Luigi based on uh, the fact of Mario's eyes there. Um, that's right. I glommed onto a little shrew property when the alien boneheads grabbed me. Ain't that a thing of beauty? I think it's the key to something inside the shrew's mothership. Um, who knows what this beauty can do in the right keyhole. It's a mystery, all right. But you can bet your last mushroom, it'll be a scoop to stop the presses, boys. Well, it definitely sounds that way. Um, huh? You wouldn't know if I saw Princess Peach in the piranha plant's belly. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Um, believe it, fellas. Princess Peach was in there. But when I got eight, she got spit out lickety splits. Oh. Spit out. Wait a minute. Then who'd you see in the crystal, then? Now I'm even more confused. Okay. So she saw Princess Peach get out. So... Huh? Okay, then. Um, I was all set for an exclusive interview, too. Raspberries. I'm pretty sure she's still locked up in the cave somewhere. I suggest you fellas keep your peepers peeled for her. Okay, we'll definitely keep an eye out. I wonder who she saw in that cold star shard then. Unless she saw herself, but that's weird though that she mentioned that specifically. Um, as for me, I'm going to try and put that key to use. Um, which means it's time for me to say so long. Good luck, Whiskers. Okay, well, good luck, Kylie. We'll probably see you in our next uh, place that we go to, pretty sure. Just based on the fact that you were at Yoshi's Island. 
in the previous chapter, so I have a feeling we'll see you again very soon. Oh, oh yeah, I owe you one. Well, um, technically we owe you one too, for helping us get that information. But technically we did kind of, you know, help you, but honestly, interesting. Well, let's go further in, for sure. But let's, uh, maybe go for that, and I'll leave the babies over here for a second. Just so we can easily roll back. Just because I want to grab that save real quick. Because it might give us some information, you never know. Since these saves usually, you know, save albums give us extra information. The giant piranha plants down, or the giant PD piranha is down for the counts. And Mario got the third star shard too. Next up, rescue Princess Peach. Is the end in sight? Um, good question Mario and Luigi. Definitely a very good question, but who honestly knows? Since we still need a decent amount of star shards, it looks like. Just based on the fact that we only got three. But, eh, good question. Definitely a good question. Well, it does look like there is a... some kind of thing back here. And it looks like... Uh, Mario! Could, could it be you? Is that you, Mario? I'm guessing that's Peach. Uh, Mario! Help, Mario! Oh, yep, that's definitely here. I know that scream. So who was in the star shard? That's weird. Huh. Unless it's a completely different character. That's weird. Huh. I'm trying to think of... Yeah, who did Kylie see? Well, that definitely looks like Princess Peach. Although the bait Oh. Well, that doesn't look good. That definitely doesn't look good. That seems like it's her, but, uh, it definitely looks like, uh, she's not having a fun time with that th that shroom strapped to her face, though. Like an alien from, uh, Alien Isolation or any of the Xenomorph movies or anything in general. But, uh, yeah, that definitely looks like Princess Peach. So, yeah, now I'm even more confused about that star shard now. Huh. Ooh, ooh, calamity! How dare this fungus! Attach it, Sif, to our princess beautiful's vision. Uh, our princess's beautiful visage. Mm, I dare say. I'm rather curious as well to how the mushroom has affixed it itself as well. Mm, what a cruel jest this is. I get the chance to meet the adult princess and curses. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait for it to rot and fall off. The shroom, I mean, not her face. <laughs> this toad's... I swear the toad's... In the, um, any Mario game, like Paper Mario or these, they always have some kind of, like, savage thing to say <laughs> out of nowhere. That just came out of nowhere. Mm, oh, you will, my dear. Well, she said yes with her head, but, uh, does not look good. Moo mm, oh, now, you've done it. You've, um, trumpeting old elephant. The young missus, missus sweeping again. Mm, a princess here, princess there. No rest for me, I fear. <laughs> the toad's worth. Uh, it's like, um... Well, technically, he's now a dad and a mom at the same time. <laughs> based on them, them both, you know, being the younger and older versions of themselves. But <laughs> it's pretty funny to see the uh, the little story with toad's worth, for sure. Um, hey, that important thing is that the princess is safe. True. Come, princess, why don't you lie down for a while? Yeah, you probably could use some sleep, let's be honest there. But, uh, does not look like we can go back in there, but we can talk to the toads. Princess Peach is resting. Please come back later. Well, we definitely will then. But Koopa and Gritz- or the Koopa Seum and the Gritzy Desert are now definitely behind us now, for the time being. So, wonder where our next, uh, adventure is going to lead us. It looks like we need to go to the Toadsworths again. We might be learning another move here, then, if they're showing up on the map. But, uh, we also need to go see EGAD as well. First things first, obviously, double check and see if there's any new things in shop. Does not look like yet. Okay. So it looks like we might need to start the process of the next chapter before we can worry about buying any new items or any kind of new, like, you know, anything new bro, bro tax or anything like that. Let's talk to Egad first. Mm, go on now, and get the rest of the Cobalt Star Shards now. Don't stand here yapping. You can check the number of shards you found, 
by taking a gander inside Stuffwell. Okay, well, apparently Egad does not want to talk yet. That's interesting. Okay, well, we'll leave Egad alone then. And, um, honestly, I'm kind of curious. What does the save album say? Hurrah! Mario's rescued Princess Peach. What's that creepy fungus on her face? The Toadsworths have their hands full with two princesses. That's definitely true. Although, Princess Peach really doesn't, you know, isn't too much trouble. More baby Princess Peach, because obviously she's a baby. But, uh, definitely, it looks like we might be learning another Mario bro ability here, and not a baby bro one, based on the fact that they're jumping on top of each other. But let's see. Mm, compose yourself, ever me. Um, the princess craves attention. Let's just go with the classic. Mm, ready when you are. Go! Okay. That's a cyclone. We already know that one. Hmm, Toads with the younger. The princess is she not. She's not pleased. Good gravy. She's tired of the Toads with twist. Oh, something's happened. Ah, crosswind. <laughs> okay then. Oh. Oh. Okay, now that's interesting. Hmm, great oogly googly. Look, elderly. She's imitating our move. By herself, too. Interesting. Oh, maybe... Okay, so... We tried, uh... We accidentally, like, you know, saw that, uh... The baby started spinning when we accidentally, like, ran into them with the cyclone in the last one. Okay. Interesting. So, that's actually part of a move. I wasn't actually... I thought that was just, like, a secret, like, interaction. But no, that's actually... That's definitely a move, then. Huh. Okay, then. Well, we know how to set it up, then. Mm, what's that you say, old me? You wish to learn our move. Of course. I'll definitely take another one. Mm, come now, Master Luigi. You saved the princess. You've earned a sapatacum. There's no longer any need for you to learn new moves at the moment. And as you can see, trying to keep her little majesty happy is rather a full-time endeavor. We can't spare even a moment to teach you such frivolities. Let us suffer in peace. Hold your tongue, elder me. Indeed, the grown-up princess is safe, but evil abides, sir. Quite frankly, witnessing you being such a, a stick in the mud has turned my stomach. That's no way to live, and it's certainly not how I wish to be in my autumn years. Mm, hug, youth. Mm, very well. You want to learn, then I will teach. Cursey and exuberance of my salad days. I will teach. 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 <laughs> okay, teach, teach, teach indeed. But well, this is a ability for all the bait all the bros, which is gonna be interesting. The baby bros and Mario bros. That's gonna be interesting. Okay. Mm, this really couldn't be simpler. You merely must run into the babies during a spin jump. Okay. But it looks like it throws them higher than Mario and Luigi currently can go. So that's interesting. I wonder what kind of puzzles we're going to be doing with that, because that's definitely going to be a puzzle-solving ability here in the near future. Mm, the babies will be caught in the spin and sent whirling up and away. Huzzah! Let's see, spinning babies. This technique shall be known hereafter as the baby spin. The baby spin. Okay, well, let's get to it then. Mm, oh yes, Marvel is creative. Perhaps our time might be better spent in a naming session. Hmm, bah. Pay him no mind. He's a bit balmy these days. The move is simple. Try it for yourselves. Okay. So, seems simple enough. Hmm, once the babies are airborne, press the D-pad. You can use the D-pad to direct the babies as they glide along and slowly descend. Are you ready to give it a try and use the baby spin? To send the youngsters all the way up here. Okay, well, seems easy enough. So basically, you spin into them, it in me okay, immediately turns us into the babies. Okay, good. Hmm, brilliant! I'm quite sure you'll now be able to ascend to places formerly out of your reach. Seems that way too. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Toadsworth, so we'll definitely take the new ability. So, baby spin. Okay, cool. I'm wondering if the ball ability is going to lead to something like that, too. Because the thing is, is the ball also interacts with the babies if you run into them. So, that's curious. 
No, dear. What do you want Molly to do? She absolutely insatiable. She's tired of this as well. Hmm, in that case. In that case. Are you mad, not the princess? Yes, the princess. Hmm, I forbid it. Okay, it looks like we might be actually getting both of those. We're not going to do it. Never, never. Oh, but looks like, uh, looks like it's about to happen. No! 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 Uh, princess! <laughs> I'm surprised one of the Toad's words did that. No, dear princess. What have we done? Mm, look at you there, you culture. The princess is pleased. Okay, so we could get the babies even flatter then. Interesting. Huh. Okay then. So the ball was actually leading to another ability too. I was thinking that based on the interaction that they had, like the cyclone, because we, we saw both of those in the last one. So I'm actually very interested on this. Hmm. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? Of course. Hmm. I don't mind teaching you this move. But it appears my age counterpart is still in shock. Yeah, he definitely seems in shock. Mm, princess, I suppose I can take it upon myself to teach you solo this time round. Okay. Interesting. So how is this one going to help us? Oh, I see it. Yeah, that definitely is pretty small. Mm, it's quite simple, really. First you enter bruise ball mode. Then you all you need to do is run into the babies. And then flatten them like pancakes. And then send them off into little disc-shaped areas. Mm, the miraculous power of the bros ball will flatten these tykes out like hotcakes. This will allow them to fit into tight spaces, previously unreachable to you. Do not fret, however. They'll pop right back up in no time. Are the flexibility of childhood. Since they uh, look like hotcakes, let's christen this technique. Baby cakes. Mm. Go on now. Have at it. So baby cakes as well as uh, baby spin is our, our, our new abilities. Interesting. I'm surprised we got two abilities back to back. Just because I wasn't ready for that. But <laughs> I like the ability. It definitely looks pretty interesting. But it is timed like you said. Mmm, splendid. And the babies seem to have enjoyed it too. They definitely seem that way. But cool. Okay. So we got baby cakes as well as baby spin. Wonder how we're going to be using those soon. Mmm, princess, forgive me. I, I am, I am an old fool. Blimey the wind. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, then. Well, there she goes. Uh, Toadsworths are definitely not going to like that one. No, oh, Horace, younger me, you scamp. This is all your fault. What will you do now, I ask you? How will you make this right? Hmm, keep your trousers on, elder me. That's my blood pressure you're elevating. Really, if I w wished to witness myself embarrassing myself, I'd bletch in front of a mirror. Hmm, but the princess. Hmm, steady old bean. Master Mario and the others will undoubtedly save the princess as always. True. That's pretty true. <laughs> But uh, I really like the interactions between these two. These per it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> you have one that's like courageous, and then as time went on and Toadsworth got older, he turned more into obviously a scaredy cat like Luigi, which is pretty funny. So younger Toadsworth is more like Mario, while older Toadsworth is more like Luigi, which is pretty funny. Mm, you will save her, won't you? I assure you, she's not in another castle or anything. <laughs> We're counting on you, fellows. Hmm, now, now, Elder Me, we'll let Master Mario and the others handle this. Okay, well, we'll definitely try. Let's see what the Toadsworth are talking about now, though. Hmm, we only just rescued grown-up princess, and now the baby princess. <laughs> what about you? Hmm, the princess was sent sailing to the other side of the wall, in case you've forgotten. I dare say this is a fine opportunity to try out the new techniques you just learned. True. And I see an area where we can already use part of it. So let's squish the babies into a nice paste, send them on through, and now we just wait for them to wait out their little timer here so we can smash the button here. 
then it looks like we just need to send in the Cyclone for the last part. Which seems pretty simple, although I think you could probably do this without the Cyclone to begin with, but honestly, we'll, t we'll do both, just because. <laughs> no reason not to. Ooh, hello, multi-coins. I'll be taking those 60 coins, for sure. Let's make our way to Princess Peach, or Baby Peach, and see where she is. Oh, there she is. Baby's found her, and, uh, oh, <laughs> reunited indeed. Hopefully, you saved the pr baby princess. Be able to bring her back down there pretty simply. And definitely looks like uh, older Toes were just looking a lot better. <laughs> mm, capital very well done indeed. You have all of our most heartfelt gratitude. Mm, come now, baby princess. Let us repair the castle for a nap. Um, for all of us. <laughs> well, see you later, Toadsworths. I'm kind of curious. Can I follow them? Because I have a feeling they're going to... Toadsworth's room. Oh no, does not look like that. Huh, I was thinking that's where they were going to go, but apparently not. I'm guessing maybe there's some, like, uh, oh, something's going on. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, terrible. He, he, he's back. Royal Chambers. Who's back? What do you mean by who's back? What? Okay. Well, the only thing that I could think of that would be in the Royal Chambers would be the uh, little green sh Shrubian monster. But the thing is, is he's kind of inside a vial, so I don't think it would be him. Huh. Well, maybe it is. Let's see. Let's go into the Royal Chambers and figure out who's uh, messing around in here, because uh, I definitely don't have an idea on that one. Well, this... Oh, no, Royal Chambers as in... Bedroom, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. But, uh, let me read the album real quick, just because I am curious. Because it might give us some insight. Let's see. Who is everyone talking about? Princess Peach is safe in the Mushroom Kingdoms at peace in this time period. Check her chambers. Well, the thing is, only other person I can think of out of somebody we haven't seen yet in the story is maybe Bowser. That's the only person I can think of. Just because of, uh, we haven't ran into Bowser in, you know, adult Bowser yet. And let's be honest here, adult Bowser is definitely a big part of the Mario Bros and everything, so it'd be weird if he didn't make an appearance. But is that who is in? Yep, it definitely is. Hey, Bowser, long time no see. <laughs> and much older this time. Um, how could Bowser attack now? The Gaul? Oh, this time princess will be mine, you fools. <laughs> well, I'd definitely like to see you try, buddy. Oh, Mario and the Green Wimp are here too. What are the odds? I'll admit you've handed me my shell before, but not this time. Oh yeah, my heart scope said so. Change the day I win it all. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I will. <laughs> uh, what is going on with that mushroom on, uh, oh, <laughs> well, I don't think you should have ate that, yeah, I wouldn't have ate that either, uh, but I don't like the fact that that's purple gas coming out of your mouth, and Mario and Luigi are not looking good, oh, gotta go, oh, yep, gotta go indeed, well, uh, Princess Peach is definitely not going to be... Oh, oh, halt. I was thinking I was going to do a Bowser's voice. Oh, no. Ooh, halt! Return the princess at once. Uh, don't think, uh, yeah. And, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Well, uh, Bowser's being sent to the past. And, well, we just got Princess Peach back, and now she's being sent back to the past as well. Probably a good idea with the fact that... that you know, purple mushroom slash shroom thing uh, was growing uh, what seemed to be another one and trying to uh, go on to Bowser, so maybe that's a good thing that uh, we don't have that multiplying on this side of the map, to be honest. So, probably a good thing that they were sent back. Because it's probably safer to deal with that in the past than is the present, because let's be honest here, there's no immediate danger in the present. So, 
Let's be honest here. And especially now that Bowser's in the past. So the present's pretty safe at the time being, just because Bowser's really the only main villain. Well, King Boo, but King Boo really more kind of like traps you than attacks you head on, to be fair. Um, Mario, what can we do? Bowser's got the princess again. It's like deja vu. If we don't do something quick, who knows what'll happen? Hurry, we must chase them. We'll definitely try. But, uh, now with Bowser and baby Bowser in the same time period, does not seem like that's gonna be a good thing for us. But, uh, maybe, maybe we don't have to worry about uh, that, but highly doubt it, but based on the fact that, you know, Mario and Luigi have met their past selves, but maybe, uh, maybe we don't need to worry about that. I guess we'll find out soon. But, uh, yeah, the princess, uh, in that purple, uh, shrew monster on her face is definitely not a good thing for anybody. But, uh, yeah, it definitely seems like we're definitely gonna use our new ability to get up there. So thankfully they gave us a direct path to where we want to go next. It should open up a new amount of items inside the shop, I would think. I'm gonna double check on EGAD, because I would think he would have something new. Let's see here. Oh, yep, here we go. Believe it or not, the princess got herself kidnapped again. I knew, I knew, it's crazy. You knew the drill. Move your mustaches and go get her. Okay, we'll definitely try EGAD. But at least he had something different that time. Just because he was just repeating what he said in the previous chapter. So we just had to go through the toad's worth there. Let's see, is there anything new in here? Because I'm pretty sure there should be. No, apparently not. Very surprised. Okay then. There is new badges though. So, receive half the price of the items used in battle after. Okay, interesting. Lucky badge makes lucky hits easier to land and that could be pretty good. I definitely like that. Increases damage done from counterattacks, that's also good. Recover a few HP depending on how many times you damage the foe. Also pretty good. All of those are really, really good. I'm pretty sure. Although, maybe I'll buy the uh, two lucky badges just to have them. I'm not going to throw them on yet, but I am going to save them for later. Because those can maybe come in handy later. But uh, definitely sounds pretty good. And then um, I'm kind of curious if there's any new bro items. Because there was the, just in general, the trampoline in the, bro in the shop here after we started the last chapter. Because obviously that's where I caught my first trampoline and I told you guys that. But still though, interesting. Just in general, from everything we've seen so far. But um, definitely with the fact that, uh, well, we still have a lot of time, or a decent amount of time left for today's episode... Looks like we're going to get a small hint of what's to come soon, just by the fact that, well, we definitely still have some time to go. Also, how do we get up here? Oh, from this side. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, that didn't look like it was a place where we could go at first. Also, there's something somewhere I could just jump to. Huh. Okay, then. Can the babies fly further? I'm thinking that's the case, based on the fact that that does not look like something Mario and Luigi can normally jump over just because of the little you know slight like slow down to the jump there at the end so let's send the babies on through no we need to force mario and luigi through there but they should jump on through the portal as soon as the babies sit down but thwomp volcano definitely does not sound like a good place to be especially for princess peach volcano is not a good spot for anybody no way around that one but here we are thwomp volcano bunch of thwomps on the on the wall which is interesting so it's literally made out of thwomps which is pretty cool but uh or petrified thwomps let's see here thwomp volcano trail aware of falling objects yeah i would definitely say that that would be something to look out for with the fact that thwomps literally jump on top of your head and you know definitely not a good thing to have happen at all thwomps are as far as the eye can see use new moves to get to the peak I betcha Bowser and the princess are up there. Well, maybe. Kind of funny that both Bowser, baby Bowser, and... Oh, Toads? Oh, they're friendly. But yeah, it's kind of funny that baby Bowser and Bowser both escape to a peak of a mountain in between, like, both their chapters, because Bowser 
baby Bowser ran to the top of Yoshi's Island's Yoshi Mountain, and then ended up getting eat by, eaten by the Yube. Although a volcano is still technically a mountain, it's a different type of mountain, obviously, but still kind of funny. Um, yo, this is Swamp Volcano. You guys mountaineers too. We all are, and we're extreme. Um, yeah, you might have guessed from the name, but this is the volcano with lots of thwomps. Oh, there's also a scientist at the peak named Gadzooks or something like that. Um, Holly Smokes or something. Gadzooks or Holly Smokes. Uh, drawing blank blanks there, but okay. Huh, Gadzooks. Well, we'll meet them eventually. Holly Smokes too is also an interesting name. Is it supposed to be two people or one person, based on how they said that? Um, god, there's block- um, there are blocks up there, there. Can you see them? Man, they're really cheesing me. Okay. Looks like pancake for that one. See the crevice? Unless you're as flat as an extreme hotcake, you ain't getting inside. Yeah, it seems like that. And then that one looks like it went the babies. And I don't care how extreme you are, unless you float. You can't reach that other block. Okay, so requires both of our new abilities in order to get both of those. One for an item, and one for opening our path further, it looks like. So let's definitely open that one first. And let's definitely go and see what the other one is, because I am quite curious where that's gonna... Well, not where that's gonna lead, but what it's gonna give us. I don't know why I was about to say where that's gonna lead. But, uh, I'm curious. Oh, Ultra Mushroom. That's pretty good. I'll take one of those. Those, those are always good to see. Just in general, just based on the fact that, well, more healing is always good to see. No way around that one. Let's make our way around the... Oh, hello. You're interesting, but you're not a thwomp, though. But, uh... Okay, so one's got no teeth, the other has teeth. Okay, so both of them are called... Or they're all called Thwax, though. But this one specifically has teeth on it and is angry. So I'm not sure if that changes him much. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, I get it. So, the other form is their neutral form. But when they change color, then you know exactly where they're going towards. Okay, I get it. Okay, so I didn't understand it at first, but now I understand it immediately. So it's like the, uh, the little cloud spider guys that we fought earlier. Slash, uh, well, just in general, Mario or Luigi-specific enemy. So basically, if they're red, they go for Mario. If they're green, they go for Luigi. Okay, simple enough. Well, let's get rid of the Luigi one first, I guess. And then, do they do they change at all? Oh, they do change. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I wasn't ready for them to change up, but they do change. But we can't easily get rid of one of them with one move, though. As long as we do the double jump for baby Mario and Mario, and, or, and then vice versa for baby Luigi and Luigi. Okay, seems simple. So that doesn't seem like a hard enemy. So that seems like it's going to be a much easier enemy for us to deal with than something like the Pidget or the Elite, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Elite Boom guy. That guy was pretty, uh, pretty hard to dodge sometimes. Oh, they can summon new ones. Okay then, interesting. But these guys are pretty simple when it comes to the hammer ability. I will definitely say that. But, um, I'm guessing they have to either already be specifically a certain type to be able to call them. Nope, they can just call whenever. Okay, then. Interesting. Huh. Well, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to deal with an enemy that can instantly call reinforcements, but... Well, it looks like we can easily get rid of them in one turn without even needing the jump. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh, we got a new item. Block trousers. So, that's definitely something we should throw on, or at least check. Because that's probably going to be better than what we're currently wearing for somebody. Yep, it definitely is. Um, I kind of want this on Mario, to be fair. Because I like the stash increase on Luigi. So, I'm going to take the extra 10 defense on Mario. That sounds pretty good. Trousers with hard blocks built into them, rolling round, not advised. Well, <laughs> there's no way around that one. We're definitely going to be rolling around as Mario. <laughs> I don't think that's going to affect us, but it's still kind of funny for them to say that. 
but uh, surprised that jumping on them doesn't get rid of them if they, you know, break almost instantly when we do attack them. But uh, definitely an interesting uh, enemy. The jumping ability is actually harder to jump uh, to counterattack than the actual uh, hammer one, because usually the hammer one's more of a harder defense mechanism. But, uh, or at least in the older games, and the newer ones are a little bit simpler. But, oh my goodness. Okay, then. Not sure how I feel about the fact that they can spawn that many of them back-to-back. -back. Hopefully not the same one can summon another time, because that would be a little odd if they can. But, uh, let's drop those. Okay, they're not sp summoning, so that's good. But that's weird, though, that they can do that. Just because, uh, that is kind of weird. Just because of, uh, you know, you get rid of one enemy and then all of a sudden now there's three of them. So it's like, what do you do about that? It's like, <laughs> there's nothing really you can do about that because, uh, well, it'll overrun you pretty easily. But, uh, I do see something that looks like I might be able to send the babies to. Because I think the babies should be able to make it over here. Yeah, here we go. So let's see here. So, ten coins. Eh, not a lot, but... It's something. Okay, it looks like we need to send the babies up there for what it looks like. So we'll send them to get some free items. It looks like we could just uh, do this and just bring the Mario Bros over instead of going through the bottom section. Because <laughs> the bottom section is uh, kind of pointy, I'll be honest there. Also, there's a drop down here, but uh, not really sure if we should jump down there, because I think that'll just take us back to where we came from. But interesting, though. Some more ice flowers. Still feel like, um, what do you call it, the fire flowers feel much more consistent, but that's just me though. I do like the fact that uh, it can drop defense though, but it's a random status, so it's not like wholly consistent if you really think about it. So it's like, do you want to do that or do you not want to do it? It's kind of like, it's kind of iffy for sure, but uh, I will say for sure that the there is some uses to the ice flowers for sure, because the, you know, having the fact that you can defense drop an enemy or, you know, do pretty much anything you want to them will definitely help you in the end, and just in general when it comes to, well, messed up that jump, that's not good. But hopefully, if, as long as I defend him, oh, he's still up, I'm very surprised about that one, but, uh, definitely surprised that he actually survived that one. Huh, okay then. Well, let's definitely get rid of them as fast as possible before they can get any extra things on field. Okay, they're starting to call in. It seems like it's 100% as long as they start doing that. They're always going to 100% call in more reinforcements. But um, I'm going to go based on the fact that maybe as long as they already called in reinforcements, they can't call them again. Let's see. No, he's going for it again. Okay. And he called in twice. Huh. Doesn't... What if you could put into an infinite fight, though, because of that? That doesn't make sense to me. Because, you know, you would, wouldn't be able to technically counteract against that. Oh, what the... Okay, they can self-destruct themselves. I did not know that was a thing, but apparently... Apparently they're allowed to do that. Okay, then. That caught me off guard. But, uh, ooh, two... Okay, that's not bad. Got three more attacks. That's always good. One to four is possible. 1 to 3 is for HP. 6 is possible in defense. There's a 3 in stash. I say we wait on stash then. And see if we can maybe get a 6. Oh, we got a 6 in defense. I'll be taking that for sure then. Cool. I'll definitely take that though. Okay, so pretty much 2 in everything. Okay, not bad. Except for stash, obviously, but... I would like to get a stash, but I want to wait. I want to get a big bonus on that stash. But, um... There's six in defense there too, one in three, one to four, and then, yeah, I'm kind of liking that stash, or defense, I mean. It looks like three, four, five, and six. So as long as I can see three, we have a chance. Got a three. I tried counting it. I feel like if you can get the countdown right, you can always get the six, or the number you're going for, but the thing is, is that... If it's going as fast as that, you have very low amount of chance of getting it. I've gotten better at getting them, but it definitely requires a lot more concentration than 
how it used to be in the, um, or one in the newer games, too. The newer games are a little bit slower and easier to hit those, but, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, for sure, it was easier in Superstar Saga if we're comparing it to ones we played through on the channel, because that's an easier way to kind of, like, you know, mention both of them. But yeah, definitely, we'll definitely have to say, for sure, it's, uh, definitely more simpler in the case of in Superstar Saga than it is in this one. <laughs> it goes way too fast in this one. But uh, also I thought we could always hit them as long as we jump over them, but apparently they can go right past us. As long as... Hmm, it just seemed like they, uh, because they slammed down on the ground, they had no chance to get back up in time. That's interesting. But uh, down goes another pack of those enemies. Those enemies are really, really easy for my honest like position after the enemies we dealt with in the gritzy desert, like the top part. I definitely will take the enemies we're getting here at the Thwomp, uh, Thwomp Volcano, to be fair. Uh, anything else we're supposed to look for? I was curious if there was anything else up there. Just to kind of get like an extra view, but nope. Just gotta keep going forward. To our next uh, pipe here. Also, it looks like we need to send in the babies in there. Extreme danger. Crevice on left is off limits to wait for thin trespassers. Using the propeller inside to float is also negatory. Stay out. Go away. Okay. Let's take a look first before we go through there, because I am quite curious on what we're really dealing with here. But we can send Mario and Luigi up here. There's something all the way up there. But looks like we definitely need to send the babies in. But first we need to crush them, obviously. So crush the babies into pancakes. And, uh... I guess just send them on in and see what we can do from there. Because honestly, at the current moment, I am quite curious. And it looks like we definitely need to stay paper thin for a decent amount of time. Although it looks like we can go two different areas, though, based on that. Let's see your extreme danger. Don't hit blocks with hammers. Things fall off um, often enough here without any help from you. <laughs> well, let's send... Uh, the Mario Bros over there real quick before we do hit that with the hammer because we already know what we're going to be doing here. So send it on over and send it on down. And then Mario, you go for the final hit there, bud. <laughs> and then we can just go from there. Let's see. Looks like there might be a secret up there, actually. Maybe. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Well, first things first... I'm quite curious on what's in the other hole there, because we didn't go the other side. So I kind of want to take a look at that real quick. So babies, you go back through real quick. We're going to go through a couple times, just because I'm curious about the other area, just because that looks like it just leads out here. I guess if you just fail it? I don't know how you would fail it, but uh, interesting. Okay then. Hmm. Just uh, another way over there, I guess. Weird. Okay. I don't know how you'd fail that, but... I guess you could take too much time to do it, but this doesn't seem too hard of a puzzle to do. But, it's interesting. Hm. Okay. I'll definitely say that, and it's just interesting. <laughs> we'll send uh, the baby bros through real quick. Give them pipes so they can easily get Mario and Luigi back. And now I'm curious about something. I want to check this one thing that I saw there. There was like a... Well, send baby Mario back a little bit, but it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. I just want to double check that because there was a little crevice there. So I was thinking there might be like a secret pathway back there, but nope. <laughs> just a aesthetic thing. Let's send us into the elevator, and let's see where this leads us. Definitely it'll let us up higher, but it seems like we definitely have quite a bit of mountain left before we're ne anywhere near the top. And then same as before, but let's keep going. Honestly, pretty good progress already. Oh, hello, fake toad. <laughs> nice try, I saw that puff of smoke before you actually got the chance there. But it looks like we got our little Tanuki Goombas again from the previous game. Oh, but they got spike balls now. Okay, then. Uh, okay, well, that did not go anywhere near good. But, could have been worse. Um, okay, I did not know how to react to that one, to be fair. Kind of pulled my hammer out way too early, though, in all fairness, but definitely, um... Yeah, I just wasn't sure what to do there, to be fair. But it seems like it's pretty simple to deal with those enemies, for what I can kind of see. 
and wow, 72 damage from a jump. That is pretty nice. That is very nice. I'll definitely say that one. But, uh, definitely, yeah, that definitely caught me off guard from the fact of the, just in general. Also, it looks like there might be another way of doing this. Because it looks like, um, we should send the babies up there, but the thing is, is I don't think that's for it what we need to do. I think it's maybe the one ability here. Because I feel like uh, we should be able to... Well, I messed it up, actually. Um, let's try it from, like, here-ish, then. And then send it back to... <laughs> I'm trying to set it up, but sometimes it's a little, a little too much to micromanage sometimes, but there we go. Let's get our bean there. I just want to make sure to grab the bean since we saw it. Okay, this looks like a baby bro one. So let's send it back to them and fling them right on over. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need the Mario Bros over here, but I guess we'll find out soon. Another bean though. We'll definitely grab that. And send... Actually, uh... Uh... Okay then. Well, thankfully, uh, we have the ability of pulling them back, but... Oh, wait a minute. Uh... Huh. Uh, now that's a soft lock, isn't it? Hmm. Well, Mario and Luigi might be able to go over, maybe. Okay, they can. I was about to say, I was a little worried there. I thought it was, uh, I thought you needed to do the baby thing there. But, uh, okay, I was a little worried. I was like, oh, uh-oh, like, I thought I actually messed up there. But, uh, oh, how? Oh, wow, that's a lot of them. Okay, this definitely looks like a, a bro flower thing. For sure, there is no way around that one. Okay, well, let's burn them, uh, to pieces then, because, uh, there is no way I'm dealing with these guys, uh, slowly but surely. <laughs> we need to do damage to all of them as quick as possible before they get anything like that. Thankfully, it looks like we're smashing them into pieces just from the one, which is pretty good, but not bad. Okay, so bros flower when we see a big group like that, for sure, just because it completely decimates that whole group of enemies pretty quickly, just because I was quite a lot of them. I'm gonna be honest, I was a lot of them. But, uh, still a lot of them, actually. You know what? We'll go for it again. We need to get our bro flower abilities, like, checked in, honestly, so definitely need to keep them up, because, let's be honest here, the Bros Flower is a big move in the Mario and Luigi games. It's pretty much overturning ability in every single game, so there's literally no reason not to <laughs> make sure that we have it on lock and understand that how to use it and everything, because, well, let's be honest here, Bros Flower and the Shell ability is two staples, and always the first two abilities you get, so... Definitely, you know, definitely need to make sure we keep it, you know, understanded and make sure we use it to the best of our capabilities. Let's try and get rid of these enemies before they start spawning in droves, because they're definitely going to do it, I feel like. Let's see here. Yep, here he goes. He's spawning in only... Nope, spawning in two. Nope, spawning in three. Thanks. <laughs> I really like uh, 50 enemies. It's a very... Uh, well, they're easy to fight, but it's just like... It's too many enemies, because the thing is, is you can't, you know, stop it from happening. And it's kind of like a non, uh, and like, kind of like an endless battle in some ways. Okay, here we go. So they have a certain time limit, it looks like, until they turn into yellow blocks. So basically, they're just setting up for, like, the self-destruct turn, pretty much, is what I'm understanding. Okay, I guess that makes sense then. As long as it doesn't, like, you know, can't become, like, an endless battle, I'm, I'm okay with it. Because I felt like that was probably going to be the case, just based on what I just saw there, but thankfully it's not. Also, it looks like uh, Pancake is required here, but also we might need to go back one more time, just so we can make sure to get the lock here first, and then we'll send the them back like so, and then obviously crush them again for the ability to go back in there. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now let's do our puzzle here, since let's be honest here. Definitely need to send them on through. And bash in the block. And hopefully get a path of... What is that coin there? Okay. Interesting coin. Oh, it's a Tanuki. I was about to say, I'm like... I thought it was like a, a special like uh, item or something. But nope. <laughs> just, a, just one of these little Tanuki Goombas. 
Definitely caught me off guard there, buddy. I will be honest. Okay, seems like a easy ability. It's basically wherever the balloon looks the biggest on the screen, once it hits the bottom part. Okay, not a hard ability. I thought that was harder than it looked. Just because, uh, obviously I started my hammers up earlier the first time when we fought them. Well, only, you know, two times that we fought them, to be fair, but still, though, definitely caught me off guard with the fact of, uh, how it ended up going. But, uh, definitely interesting for enemies and everything. Also, a new, uh, spear-like guy-looking thing, based on the fact that I just got a hammer, uh, or not a hammer, a, like, big, big ol' spear going directly at Mario Luigi's head just a second ago. You can see it right next to me. Yep, there they are. <laughs> nice try, buddy. And, uh, nice try, Mr. Block. You ain't chasing me down like that. I'm gonna be honest. Gotta try harder than that if you wanna catch me. I kinda wanna try ice flowers here. You know what? We don't use the ice flowers enough. Might as well try it. Just see what we can get for ability, because technically you can get some good stuff with it. It really depends on what kind of roll you really get at the end of the day. But for the most part, it's a pretty good ability. As long as we do a decent amount of damage, we can easily get rid of the enemies. And as long as we, it looks like as long as we jump and then do the fire ability or ice flower ability, we can easily get rid of those enemies pretty quickly if they're in a big group like that. But it's easier to deal with those enemies just because there's so many of them. And we have so many ice flowers to begin with, so there's no reason not to go for some ice flowers here or fire flowers there every now and then. Just because, well, we have a lot of them. No reason not to, right? But uh, I feel like our jump shouldn't be able to do enough damage, but it looks like we can still do enough damage with jumping. Not bad. Although I'm not sure how I did 44 damage one of those times, but I'll take it. Level 20 for baby Mario. 3 HP and 4 speed. Okay, not bad. Or not, um, 3, three power, I mean. I don't know why I said HP there. But, uh, definitely not bad. 1 to 3 stash is, um, available. Not really sure about it. 1 to 4. 1 to 4. And then, ooh, there's a sticks in defense still. Go for it. Got a 3. Lowest of the possibilities, I think. But, uh, not bad, I guess. And then, decent level for the baby Luigi, just from what we got, basically. But, uh, 1 to 4 still in the HP there. 1 to 5 in power is possible. And another 6 is available for defense. Hmm. 5 power or 6 defense. What sounds more appealing right now? The power sounds appealing to me, honestly, but is it possible? Definitely... Okay, let's see here. If I can get the timing in... Okay, it's like a 1, 2, 3, 4 after the la last... after the 5. 1, 2, 3, 4... There we go. Got it. Like I said, 1, 2, 3, 4. Not bad. <laughs> I Sometimes I can get it, like I said. I just, like... I need to really, really, really look at it. But if it's like, like that, then I can easily get it. Also, you're going for Luigi. Nice try. <laughs> you're also going for Luigi. Nice try. But, uh, yeah, it's, if it's like that speed, I can easily get that. It's just that the other one is, uh, when it's like really, really fast, it's like impossible to get that. But, uh, it's still, you know, worth a shot trying to get the high number. It's just that... Sometimes, it, yeah, it's definitely completely random at that point. The only way you're getting that is if uh, you're really, really lucky. But, uh, you know, it's not impossible. Since it seems like, for the most part, you're always either going to at least get a 2 or a 3 when it's like that. So it's not like the worst possible situation when it comes to it. It's just that more than likely, more than likely going to get the worst number at the end of the day. Also, surprised I got that jump, to be fair. Also, another pancake over here, although I'm not really sure about that. Although it looks like it might be required, like, keep going underneath the- yep, okay. I get it now. Okay, so the idea here. Although, what does this take us to? Just because it seems like it's kind of off the beaten path to do this puzzle. So, hmm, interesting. Well, it's definitely keep the baby bros underneath the pancake locations to further your timer. Oh, to get a bean. Okay. Well, I guess that's good, I guess. Not bad. 
It's always good to see beans. Although, this one's more of a puzzle-based one than the previous ones. Also, uh, looks like we have to send the babies into a fight on their own. Although, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go for them. So, I think, uh, Pocket Chomps is definitely in our future here for the babies, just because of the infinite. So, let's see if we can run it and see what we can get out of it, because, let's be honest here, it's not too hard to do the babies. It's more hard to do, like, Mario, Luigi, and every other character with the trampolines, and the trampolines aren't too hard, to be fair. So, if we can get rid of one of these guys, I've, I'll feel safer in the long run. But uh, let's definitely make sure we get pretty far. But we definitely need to hit the guy as soon as we hit the ground, though. We don't want to get hit, hit by the chain chomp, because the slower we hit it, the faster we get hit by the chain chomp. But 64 damage he took. Okay, then. Surprisingly, he took a lot of damage there. But uh, I'm pretty sure another chain chomp should get him. Just because, well, it should be a decent amount of damage, I would think. Just because, in general, it's a pretty, you know, good ability. We're doing 9 damage per hit for both Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. So 27 plus what we did earlier. Okay. So they got about 80-something HP, pretty much, is what I'm understanding. So, okay, it doesn't sound too bad. I think we do like 20 on a basic jump. So, well, a couple turns, counter badge, as well as another bean. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Always good to see. But um, I think this is where we're going to end off today's episode. Because, well, let's be honest here, we definitely have made a decent amount of progress today. And honestly, uh, well, technically, we're still close to a save and we're very easily able to get to that save. We'll start off, um, obviously, the next episode in this area, obviously. So, obviously, we're not going to go, you know, backtracking through this area. But, uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next episode, we will be continuing our chase on Bowser as well as, uh, Shrubian Peach, Peach I guess? Because, uh, uh, she's definitely not looking like the normal Peach, but, well, maybe she's okay. I honestly don't know. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.